All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be talking about everybody's favorite feature in the entire game, the Pilaf's Trove. <laughs> Yo, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. No, for real though, all jokes aside, it does seem like Bandai is making somewhat of a concerted effort, right? Like they're actually trying to make this a little bit more reasonable um, you know, less of a scam than it was before and giving us more value for our money with these revamped packs. And I mean, aside from this Daily Capsule thing, which is amazing. All right, Daily Capsule is probably one of the best things they've ever done on Global. Like I'm being honest, this 90, like 90 stone pack or the 30 day pack is fantastic value. And if you're a pay to play, you should definitely buy it. But uh, for the most part, the other stuff, right, the rank up packs, the hidden potential packs, the awakening packs, they're garbage, right? Like nobody wants to buy them. They were way overpriced for what you were getting. But recently, like literally since yesterday, they revamped these rank up packs and made them a little bit more interesting. So that's the focus of today's video. That's what we're going to quickly talk about and discuss. And the main focus will be on the rank 50 pack, the rank 200 pack, as well as the rank 300 pack, because these are the three packs that include this SSR Force 2 ticket, which uh, actually is quite good. Okay, now, real quick, taking a look at the other stuff in these packs. I mean, look, on the surface, it seems like they're giving us a lot of stuff, right? You're like, oh my god, you have so many items, so many orbs, so many, you know, meat, blah, blah, blah. But if you take a closer look, you realize that they're giving us one Hercule statue. A single Hercule statue. What am I gonna do with one Hercule statue, man? I can do two friend summons, or I have two friend multis, and get more Zenny than this Hercule statue. So I don't know what that's about. There's one of each of these Kai medals, three of the other Kai medals. I mean, 10 gold medal. Like, come on. All right, like this is, it's not cool. I know what it is, right? They're giving us a lot of different items to make it seem like they're giving us a bunch of stuff and make it seem like there's a ton of value in these packs, but realistically, the only thing that matters in this pack, and pretty much all the other packs, is the ticket, right? Even at, like even from the perspective of a new player, when you need a lot of medals, you need a lot of, you know, orbs, I mean, all they're giving us is enough orbs to make maybe awaken like one or two units, or, or medals rather, and then for orbs, you can like maybe open up one path Actually, not even meant 10 of each large orb. Like, you can't even open up a path. So, yeah, it's, it's just, it's it's nothing, really, right? So, we're only paying attention to the ticket. And as far as the ticket ticket goes, like I said, I do feel like this banner we can spend the ticket on is pretty intriguing, okay? So, here's the banner. It's called Power Up SSR for Summon. And basically, it's like a lot of other gacha games, like Beginner Banner and there are 15 total featured units and one ticket will guarantee you one of the 15 uh, units and i believe that their rates are exactly the same between the 15 units so you have the same chance to pull any of them and the featured pool has super saiyan blue evolution vegeta uh, into ui goku super full power saiyan 4 goku i mean to me he is full power super saiyan 4 goku i know that's the official name but like i hate it okay and we also have Fizz Super Vegito, uh, STR Ultimate Gohan, AGL Turles, STR Jiren, and Golden Frieza, uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Fizz Omega Shenron, and then five LRs featured as well. We got Mighty Mask, Bojack, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, Beerus and Whis, as well as Bardock. All right, so those are the five LRs. They're basically the second generation of LRs in the game. And, uh, you know, they're still quite good. Now, compared to, like, these newer LRs, they're, like, pretty mid-tier. But, of course, they're... Even even for mid-tier LRs, they're still some of the better units in the game, right? So, no hate there. Um, now, these Dokkan Fest, like, category leaders are still quite good. I mean, obviously, there's variance in how good they are. But, like, for the most part, you know, pulling one of these as a beginner especially... And be quite helpful especially for their leader skills right like if you pull super saiyan blue evolution vegeta early on and you can build like a makeshift you know pure saiyans team that's going to help you a lot in beating dokkan events and stuff like that and powering up your your box right so um i do think that these guys being here is not a bad thing but for more veteran players you know for people like me or people who have been playing for a couple of years you're not going to be excited 
by this pool and even by these LRs. I think many people, I mean, it really depends on what like level of whale you are or if you're pay to play or free to play. But I don't think this pool really gets that many people that excited. I mean, I'm a little bit excited for the Bardock mainly because I don't have him. And I was like, one in 15 chance, one in 15 chance of pulling a Bardock or a 33% chance, so five in 15 chance, right, of pulling just a dupe for an LR is actually pretty good, right? That's, that's not bad. So the value here, pretty solid, pretty solid. But going back to the actual pack, I mean, Look, the thing is, I still feel like it could be better. All right, I still feel like it's a little bit lackluster, a little bit lack. Okay, you know what? Let me put it this way. Compared to other gacha games I've played with similar style purchases, you know, with like these rank up packs or progression packs, level up packs. I mean, it doesn't really matter what the name is. The, the idea is the same. Uh, essentially, you can just unlock these progressively better and better packs as you le level up, rank up, play the game and uh, these packs are supposed to give you better and better stuff as you go along, right? And one game that comes to mind specifically is Grand Cross because I've been playing that a lot these days, right? So Grand Cross, a rank up pack like this would give a ton of in-game summoning currency, you know? Like, I think, you know, for like the mid-tier pack, it's enough to do at least five, six multis, maybe a little bit more. You get the idea. They give in-game summoning currency as opposed to you know, a ticket, which is good, you know, for a very solid unit, right? One of the older units, but still very solid. And a bunch of other crap that honestly, like you can just get by playing the game for a little while. Um, you know, compared to that, it's really still not that good. Like I would much rather have 200, 300 stones from one of these packs as opposed to a ticket or a good unit. I mean, that's just me. I don't really know, man. Like, cause I feel like I'm seeing things from the perspective of somebody that has been playing this game for a while, right? I've been playing this game for three and a half, coming up on four years now. And maybe I'm a little bit jaded by that. Maybe because I am a pay to play player, I'm also a little bit, you know, biased, right? So for that reason, I do want to hear your opinions in the comments down below. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what people have been playing for one year think, what people have been playing for three years think what people have been playing for five years think or maybe six months and so on and so forth just different perspectives right because to me as somebody who's been playing for a long time and also is very much pay to play uh this is better this is an improvement it's definitely a step in the right direction compared to what the packs were like before but it's still not enough to me you know it's still not enough we're not quite there yet we still got a ways to go and i do recognize that bandai is trying and they're making progress but it's, it, this is not it yet, all right? This is not it. Look, if they really want to take our money or get my money for something like this, they gotta give us some stones. They gotta give us some, you know, actually useful things like maybe gold skill orbs. That'd be a little bit more tempting, right? Something that's harder to get. Not like, I don't know, you know, a level two bronze skill orb. Like I, I can just do the Whis event right now and get a couple of those, right? And you know, the medals are still the same. Look, one medal here, like one Hercule statue. I mean, come on, and like barely enough orbs to open a couple of nodes. As I said, man, this just feels like throw-ins to make it seem like we're getting a lot of stuff, you're getting a lot of value, but there's really not that much there when you take a closer look, right? So this is this is a smokescreen, man. This is, this is a trick right there. Um, they're not gonna get us though. They're not gonna get us. And you know, aside from the ticket, there's really nothing there. It's not much there. And if you think that the ticket is worth the price tag, then sure, go for it. But to me, it's still not worth it. I'm probably not gonna pick it up. And I don't recommend most people to pick it up either because I just don't feel like you need it. I don't feel like it's necessary. I mean, $35 for me, Canadian. Uh, for you, if you're in the States, maybe $30, 28 something like that. Now the first pack is a little bit more interesting because it's $24, it still has the ticket. And once again, for US players, you know, it might be $18, $17. So if you're gonna pick one of them up, it definitely would be the rank 50 pack, right? This would definitely be the one to pick up. But I would definitely stay away from the rank 200 pack, stay away from the rank 300 pack. And once again, man, Bandai, look, it's good that we're trying. It's good that we're making progress. You guys gotta try harder, man. You gotta try harder. This is not enough. So that's my opinion, guys. That's all I want to say. Just a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a discussion about these new rank up packs, these new, you know, peel off strove packs. 
And uh, once again, before you go, feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all this. Ooh, day change, nice. Got my logins, sweet, okay. And uh, <laughs> that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching me ramble for a decent amount of time. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.